All right, we have Dr. Joe Landers here to answer your questions, and he has brought along Honey Bun. That's Honey Bun, yes. and this is Twinkie. Yes, I think yes, somebody was I, hungry when they were named. Absolutely, I, I think so. They're, uh, and we, we were discussing this. Beauty's in the eye of the holder. They're kind of they're kind of these Chihuahua Terrier mixes, and you never know what you'll get when you know two two kind of cross. And uh -huh. of course, with all these designer breeds, and they're trying to get them to cross back. But but I mean, but look these at guys, these faces. They I really think are. They're, just they're they are really are adorable. <laughs> these two little girls are over at the adoption center. They're about eight weeks old. Um, they're ready to be adopted anytime. Uh, I think it's nine one eight seven nine. Four six six eight eight. There you go. And yes. since you, we're not quite sure of the mix, you really don't know how big they're going to get. I don't know how big. You know, they're. I, I, and someone asked me up front. They're actually on a pretty decent growth curve here. Right. I mean, they're pretty big, and this is at eight weeks. And so I would kind of err on the side of saying a medium-sized dog. Okay. So well, I think they're adorable. They may have some big terrier in them, sure. So. Oh, this one's whining. They oh really my are. gosh! They're if just, I didn't already have a dog, this okay. would be coming home with me. Absolutely. Okay, we have to get to our viewer yes. questions. This first question comes from Katie. She says, "I have an 18-week-old Peekaboo." and he started chewing on the kitchen cabinets, pulling up carpet. She needs some help. Yep, um, that is, uh, they're just having fun at that age or whatever. And what I'll kind of tell people is really you want to kind of guide them to what you do want them to chew on because they are going to chew. So just reprimanding them doesn't help because usually that just confuses them. So a lot of times give them what, they, what, what you want them to chew on. Avoid those places, especially anything special. Uh, I always tell people, you know, my, my kids didn't get too many of their iPods chewed up because I taught them to put it up real quick. But more so, uh, also don't be afraid to put them in their kennel and to use baby gates to kind of kind of uh, uh, section off a little bit because they absolutely will, will love to chew. So Okay, all right, our next question comes from Leslie. My cat has been using the carpet as a litter box. That's mm -hmm. never good. Is this a behavior problem rather than a physical one? Is there any way to stop this? Yeah, I always kind of ask people, I mean, another uh, is is uh, how many cats and things. There's actually a lot of questions that go into that. Uh, but yeah, it's not it's not good. Some of them do sometimes. They kind of like the, the feel of carpet or whatever. And that, you know, it's kind of like people that use a bidet. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've, you know, who, who knows, right? <laughs> but, but for most part, but it is important in all to seriousness is to kind of go to your vet, get a urine sample to make sure there's not something there because they do produce crystals or urinary tract infections which which you can only see you know by testing the urine then once that's all kind of clean I'll tell people we kind of investigate and go from there and, and retrain because that's I understand that yeah. can be a bad habit yeah, so it's not good oh yeah. you want to eat my mic I yes. think you do <laughs> Twinkie's hungry all right well if you're interested in adopting honey bun or Twinkie you can call the adoption center 918-794 6688. If you'd like to learn more about Heritage Veterinary Hospital or see other pets, just go to our website, kjrh.com.